Hey, happy sunshine, family. <clears throat> Lunacy's back here, and we're talking more about these strains observations, which are websites, information sites out there. Two different ones right now are reporting that there are uh, death records for Parker Still, uh, and with either location in Batesville, uh, Senatobia, or Knoxville. <clears throat> Now, somebody in the Lunacy family has been digging in and researching, and they went to a site called searchquarry.com, and this is about as far as they, uh, they were able to get as far as seeing that, hey, when you search for a death record for a Parker Still, age 39, location Knoxville, Tennessee, it's saying right here, hey, they've got the death report done on this site, and the death report includes all of this info over here, including the uh, location of the birth and death and, lo and the dates of birth and death. And this is all really interesting because apparently this is the guy that's testifying in the Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe and Randall K. Bean court hearings. Now, I'm not saying that Parker still is dead, guys. What I'm saying is there are two separate online public record web pages that are telling the story that Parker Still has a death record attached to his name. 39 years old, Knoxville, Tennessee. So this member of the Lunacy family went a step further and had a phone conversation with a representative from the search quarry site. And I'm going to play that conversation for you. The representative clearly states that she's looking at the report they generated for Parker Still, that yes, there's a death record out of Knoxville, Tennessee, but it's the county. I, I, is that uh, Blunt County? Blunt or Blount? That is blocking the dissemination of this death certificate. So listen to this excerpt from the phone call. However, I'm also looking at the report that was, you know, generated for Parker Steel. Uh -huh. However, we were not able to obtain the death records on our end. You know, sir, sometimes this county would not post set of public records. Yes, there is a record for the death. However, it's just that it's not in public. It would require the person, you know, or a direct why, company to contact I mean, them with regards to this information. I wonder why it's like that. Is it just for certain people, depending upon what they do or who they are? Um, no, sir. It depends upon the county. Mm -hmm. Oh, about whether they release that information or not. Yeah, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Okay. Well, um, I mean, I know that it does exist. You know, I just wanted to get some clarification if it was in Mississippi or Knoxville, because it was pulling up in Knoxville, but it's from Batesville, which is my hometown. Mm, I see. So on the preliminary research, you were able to pull it out of Knoxville. Yeah, right? yeah, but it won't show up any. But it's weird, though, because when you do it originally, it's like it's going to pull it up, and it goes like to 90%, and then it just, like, well, I'd say like 98 99 and it's about to pull it and extract it and then it stops yeah. okay well we try to get information on our end as much as possible but we cannot you know um go ahead with those state i mean not state restrictions <laughs> 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 Knoxville. Yes, that is correct. So, so I guess you have to contact Knoxville for it 
So you get that report. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time and returning my phone call. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. So that's one more observation to throw on the pile here. I'm not saying that there is a death certificate for Parker Still or any of these other people that I found purported death records for, Judy Jandora or Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. I'm not saying that they're dead. What I'm saying is we now have two observations, or actually three, publicrecordcheck.com, searchquery.com, and now you've just heard a telephone conversation from a representative at searchquery.com stating that yes, there is a death record for Parker Still out of Knoxville. I can't have access to it. It's being blocked by the county. These are all very puzzling observations for me, family. I don't know how to explain them. We're in the position of picking apart deception. And to come out with statements blanket statements about what reality is around this at this point is is premature so this is just another observation that does not make sense here and I want to be very clear how I define that If you've got any love, lighter links in this matter that can shed more light, that would be great. I've got other people that are digging into trying to get a hold of whatever certificate this may be that is apparently in Knoxville being blocked by the county. I don't know if any of these people are going to be successful or not. But we've got enough observations here that, hey, we should be able to go to the county, and if it's there, we should be able to get more answers. And what the preliminary information I have right now from these other people tracking this down are that, yeah, there appears to be some kind of a death certificate there in Knoxville for Parker Still but they don't have access to it. So my question is, from multiple different avenues, i.e. two online search, public record search engines, and then also from people who have the skill and expertise to track this down through the system, they're all finding this same general narrative that it appears there's a death record for Parker Still, but they cannot get a copy of it. And this is strange, guys. This is very strange. I don't know what explains this at all. So we're not assigning any meaning to any of this yet other than, hey, this is puzzling. This doesn't make any sense. And that's not a very comfortable place to be for most people. But it's the place that a truth seeker should really embrace. It's to admit that, hey, there's a lot going on here that we don't understand. And just observing that, hey, there's a lot that we don't understand going on with reference to this case. When everything should be really easy to understand got to ask why is that the case so if you have any love light or links for me in this matter or in any others please send them to lunacy l-u-n-a-s-e-e -E, at protonmail.com now the reason I always tell you to send me an email rather than to leave comments is Proton Mail is purportedly encrypted I feel like 
out of all the options out there that I've seen, that's probably the, the most secure option that I can come across right now for communicating with you guys. Anything that you put in the comment section is immediately seen by everybody, including the powers that were. I don't know if the powers that were have access to get into my encrypted email or even view the email while it's in transit. I don't know. I've heard stories that they do. I don't have any reason to doubt those stories or believe them. I haven't done my homework on that part. But what I do know is that this information about death records initially appeared in my comment section, so it was already public. And I didn't feel that I had any other alternative in this matter other than to make a video about it, get the information out there, and to enlist help to sort it out. This is how we get through the deception, guys. If you know of another way, Please tell me. So I will be back soon. We're still got 20 some pages to go through in the grand jury transcript. And I've still got uh, some more videos to put together about information that people are vectoring towards me. Have a great day. Chew over this. Just let it be what it's going to be. Observe yourself inside your own psyche. Do you have a tendency that you need to have a, a full definition placed on these observations here about potential death records? Or can you operate in a space of unknowing? Because that's really where we are. I haven't seen anybody that's shown that they know everything that's going on with this case. So allow yourself to make observations that fly in the face of what you would expect, but yet fail to explain what's going on here. Because this is the territory of cleaning up deception that's been spread. It's a place you have to go. All right, much love to you guys. We'll be back again really soon. Peace out.